Good morning. It's great to have your company this Thursday, the 24th of June. I'm Paulina Peters, a market analyst at Bell Direct. Well, US shares were mixed overnight with the S&P 500 erasing modest gains, closing in the red and snapping its two-day winning streak. The Dow fell about 0.2%, but it was the Nasdaq as the relative outperformer, rising 0.1%, closing at another record, 14,271 points. Some major tech names gave the broader market some support. Tesla jumped nearly 5.3%, Netflix gained about 0.8%, and Facebook rose about 0.5%. As for what to watch locally, yesterday the Aussie share market was out of form and sank notably lower, falling 0.6% to about 7,299 points. And today the Aussie share market looks set to fall again, with the future suggesting the market will open 0.4% lower. This is off the back of New South Wales COVID-19 cases continuing to rise and the enforcement of new restrictions taking place, with the potential for further restrictions to be set in place in today's update. Following New Zealand enforcing a 72-hour pause on the New South Wales-New Zealand travel bubble, we saw Air New Zealand shares fall 1.7% and Sydney Airport SYD fall 2.2% yesterday. As for the most traded stocks by Bell Direct clients yesterday and advised clients, they were CBA and ANZ. Also traded was Technology One, TNE, for Bell Direct clients. Moving to commodities, oil is holding at its record of US $73 a barrel as US supplies tightened and the US dollar retreated, making it less expensive for buyers holding other currencies. While rate hike concerns were eased by the US Fed yesterday, it wasn't enough to lift the gold price, which trades slightly lower, about 0.1%, and the iron ore price is trading up about 0.2%. Moving to trading ideas for your consideration, Bell Potter have a buy rating on Adassel Technologies, ADA, with a price target of $1.25. ADA is a global technology company that develops and implements air traffic management systems and air traffic control stimulation. Bell Potter are positive on the stock off the back of ADA announcing another sale of its new air traffic management ATM system called Aurora. Bell Potter believe potential catalysts for the stock include ADA achieving its FY21 guidance, a positive outlook and guidance for growth in FY22, and the renewal of its Federal Aviation Administration Advanced Technologies and Oceanic Procedures contract. ADA closed up about 4% yesterday, which implies 37% share price growth. Bell Potter also has a buy rating on Australia's leading avocado grower, Costa Group Holdings, CGC, with a price target of $4.30. CGC are looking to boost its citrus portfolio and has moved to acquire one of Australia's leading citrus growers, 2PH Farms, a producer and marketer based in Central Australia. They have announced around $273 million of investments in maturing acreage, which together with previous investments is creating an attractive tale of volume and profit growth through to calendar year 2025. Lastly, K-Ting, KTG, Osteopore, OSX and Comumedics, CMP, are all giving off bullish charting signals according to Trading Central. And that's it for today. I'm Paulina Peters with Bell Direct. Happy trading.